Hi everyone, it's Kimberly. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. This is going to be a wig review. I know, I know. You guys are like, oh, you just big chopped your hair and now you have in a weave. No, this is a full lace wig, a glueless cap, and this is from RPG RPG Show. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this company. They've been around for a really long time. They make really good um, wigs, and I know you guys have seen a lot of other gurus actually review them. This wig was sent to me for my honest opinion and review. I've had it forever and a day, and um, I owe them this review. And I, I just I haven't really been wearing the wig because I've been enjoying my big chop and my natural hair. So I am going to go ahead and review the wig, however, because it is a nice wig, and I do like it. Okay, let me give you the specs on the hair. Everybody knows it comes in this nice box. Mine is all beat up because, like I've said, I've had this for a long time. This is the little spec card. The um, name of this wig is ELS118-S. That's the name of the wig. It is in the color 1B, which is off black. It is 18 inches long, and I think it is true to length. I didn't bother to get out a tape measure or anything like that, but it definitely does come down around my breast area. And in my back, it comes pretty low down right here. It is a yakky texture, which is more like African-American hair. It's a little more coarse. Um, this filming situation that I'm doing right now is not allowing you to see any of the detail that I can see. I really have to step my game up when it comes to filming, but it is um, yakky texture. You guys know what yakky texture is. This ain't your first rodeo. Um, the lace color is medium brown, and this is a cap number three, a glueless lace cap, and the cap size is number two. My problem when I order custom made, not custom made, when I order um, factory stocked lace wigs, they never fit me. Large is not large enough for my head. I have a very big head, and a large circumference is usually 30, th 33, or however many inches around. Is it 23? I think it's 23. I think I'm being a little bit outrageous. I think it's 23, but I need like a 24 or 34. I can't remember if it's 24 or 34 right now. My mind is totally drawing a blank on that aspect. But, um, yes, I do just have it plopped on my head. Um, I still have like my hairline out, as you can see, um, because of the, the not fitting issue. But, I mean, I would definitely rock this out at the nighttime when nobody would really be able to see or tell that much. I do just have a headband on because it matches my, um, my pink toms that I was wearing today. So I do have on that headband. But, yeah, I mean, whatever. You don't have to. I do have uh, three bobby pins on securing it down. The hair is pretty soft for it to be yakky because yakky is normally pretty coarse. It's not silky by any means. I am going to um, show you guys me curling this a little bit, but I just haven't um, done that. I'm going to go ahead and take it off so I can show you guys the interior of the cap. Okay? So, hold on. I'm just getting the bobby pins out. And it pops off really easily. So, basically, in the cap, you have three combs. One, two and three and around back you have that drawstring thing like you get on um, three-fourth wigs or whatever you want to call them yeah and um, you have lace so you can pretty much all throughout so you can part it anywhere that just looks like a hairy mess in your face I know but you do get that all over lace parting this is a full lace wig so I think I'm going to go ahead and see about moving this filming situation to the bathroom just so uh, maybe we can get a little bit better lighting and you guys can see it a little bit better. I, I, I got to invest in some studio quality lighting because this is what's stopping me from filming videos because of the quality. I hate it. But we're going to go ahead and move to the bathroom. Okay, so I hope this lighting is a little bit better. Now I'm just going to show you guys how I apply it. Again, here's the cap. If you weren't able to see the last time, I don't know. I haven't edited the video yet, but... It has three combs, like pretty far back. It has this the straight lace, the sheer lace here, and then here is like the stretch lace kind of material throughout the crown and the back. All I do to put this on is take it and oh, on my head I actually have a flush tone that is too light, a flush tone um um what is this? 
a flesh tone wig cap <laughs> that is actually uh, way too light. But whatever, that's what we have today to work with. So I just take it and I plop it on my head like that. And then voila, I'm done. That's all I do. I don't adjust it, I don't comb it, I don't fix it. That's the end of the review. No, I'm kidding. So you actually, um, I actually pull it back some and I take my edges and make sure they're kind of lined up. And um, even though this is a glueless cap, you could definitely apply glue if that's your thing right here. I just use a brush and since I'm not really comfortable with the perimeter since it is up and everything like that even though I mean I don't know if you guys can see it looks like it's growing out of my scalp but lace wigs to me are so played out and they look like lace wigs. People know you're wearing a lace wig so it is what it is. And I always find that I get this humpage up here which is also attributing to it not looking too authentic. So I just um, like to pull the back down, hold the top, and really get a good pull situation going on in the back. And as you guys can see, I didn't really go ahead and dig those combs in. You can do that, but I didn't. Now, what I like to do for the front is brush it, making a part off to the side here. Let's part this with a comb. Save our time. Okay, like that. Just like that. And then I take it and pull, make sure I have that down. And then I use just a plain black bobby pen to pen it. Now, ultimately, what I think I will end up doing to this unit is training the hair, which I will like wet it, pluck a few out, and tie it down and wear it for a little while to get this part to stay on its own. And then I will ultimately um, cut it and have a bang situation going on. So this could just, so this could just become. A very easy to wear unit for me right now it does take a little bit of work to have it look um, like fairly natural and like it's supposed to be going all about that way then I would just take these pins here these bobby pins excuse me and I stick them in like that just um, to give me that protection if I did do this you see you still see, you still can see the pen because I didn't really place it properly <laughs> should place it a little bit more and like but if I just happen to be like oh my gosh my edges don't blow up in the, the wind area and you could do the same thing this side even though you have the hair pinned down don't be afraid and some people use a lot of pins some people use a few it doesn't matter it's your preference it's your hair at the end of the day and um you can wear it just like this or you could put the headband i just happen to like the headband because it matches my shoes today but you don't ever have to put anything that i put in your hair all right i'm gonna plug in my flat iron, which I should have bended, and show you guys this hair responding under some heat. So this is 100% human hair, so we don't have to worry about any. You don't have to worry about any synthetic um, attributes, such as melting. Stop. <sighs> and I just uh, put my headband back on. Um, I like it a little bit better curled actually than I do straight. I'm still experiencing that hump effect in the crown. Um, I think just with time, a little bit of wear, a little bit of stretch, and the proper fit. Like I said, this wig is not my proper fit because I got a big dome piece. But um, I just curled it very sloppily, very fast with the flat iron, which is not my tool of choice for curling, even though it's supposed to be very simple. 
Um, there's really, there are like some pre-built in layering type thing going on to this wig. Well, not really. But I noticed some was like shorter compared to the longer. So a little bit of layering, but not much. So I definitely would recommend going in and giving yourself some layers so you can um, really experience that nice drop curl effect. It looks really cute when you have the appropriate type of layers. Um, I give this wig like a five out of five stars. If it was a perfect fit, which is totally my fault, um, I would just love it even more than I already do. But um, I definitely love it. I think it's a good option for when you um, are tired of your TWA and you just want some hair back on your head. You don't want to go through the process of a weave. Because I could get a full sew and weave. My hair is long enough to braid. But um, that's just a lot of hassle. So I'm just uh, I'm happy to have options available to me. And it looks really good. These are my baby hairs. So it does have baby hair. So this is not all the baby hair. That was like a piece of a baby. See them? They are these traditional long baby wispy hairs. That's it. I hope you guys like this review. I hope it was helpful. Um, don't forget to check out RPG Show. Their wigs. I'll list the link below. All the specs on this hair below. Um, expect to see me wearing this periodically in some of my videos. You know. I do love my natural little TWA, but this is nice for a day or two. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.